What's up, friend? Hector here from StrongestHack.com with this week's workout of the week. So here we are, week number eight of this little project we've been putting together called a Strength Focused Endurance Series. So over the last eight weeks, we've been releasing a new video using kettlebells to improve endurance with the strength exercises, presses, squats, different variations, um, different mechanical loading, which is basically just stresses on the body, single bell, asymmetrical bell, double bells. And so one of the unique mechanisms of this whole series is this asymmetrical piece using two different size kettlebells. So we've gotten many questions and that's what kind of inspired this whole strength focused endurance series was what happens when you don't have the same size kettlebells or how do I progress from single bell to double bell? Well, the asymmetrical tactic kind of fills that gap. And that's what we've been focusing on over the last eight weeks. And we've got this week and one more week, and that will wrap up the entire strength focused endurance series. So today we're switching back to grinds. Today we're going with pre uh, squat, then press. That little change makes a huge difference in how your body adapts, how your body recovers. So a couple weeks ago, we went with double presses. I think it was episode 67, where it was focused on double bell hell, because <laughs> everything was sets of six, right? Presses were sets of six all the way across the series. Squats were sets of six all the way across the series. Today, we're switching to asymmetrical bells. And then we're swapping our order of exercises. We're going to be starting with squats first, and then we're going to be going into presses second. So it's going to be two series making up your exercise circuit for the day. All right. So let's head on over to the whiteboard. Let's draw it all out. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, we got it all laid out now. So asymmetrical bells, everything is gonna be sets of five. So we're going, we're switching, we're making several switches here. So we're switching back to grinds, okay, from ballistics from last week, okay, we did single bell snatches last week. We're switching back to grinds, okay. We're switching back to the press and the squat, and then we're switching the order of exercise. So now we're going squat series first, then press series second. The next thing that we're doing is we're switching our load. We're going from single bell to asymmetrical bells, okay? So everything is gonna be done in a series and we're gonna be performing every set on the minute. So at the zero, you're gonna knock out five front squats, asymmetrical bell. Big bell on the right, small bell on the left. Next set, at the top of the minute, one minute mark, you're gonna swap bells and you're gonna do Five front squats again. Third set, another five front squats, okay? Rest top of the minute, this takes us to the three minute mark and we're gonna be switching to presses. So now we've got five presses at the three minute mark, five presses at the four minute mark, five presses at the five minute mark. And we're alternating sides each set, okay? So by the time we get to, by the time we go through all series, both series, which is six total sets, we should be wrapping up around that 520-ish mark, somewhere around there, probably like 525, 530, somewhere in there. Then we'll rest top of the minute plus an additional minute. So at the seven minute mark, you'll start your next circuit and next series of squats. All right, and then you'll go on in the description. I'm going to leave a link to the blog where you can head to the blog, download the free downloadable cheat sheet, no opt-in required. Download the free downloadable cheat sheet. From there, you'll have you'll see the prescribed number of total circuits that you're gonna complete for the day. And that will be it, all right? So straight sets, sets of five, asymmetrical bells. So let's head on over to the platform 
and let's see what this looks like, all right? Before I forget, what kettlebell sizes should you be using? As with our previous asymmetrical bell sessions, I recommend your primary bell that you can knock out 10, 15 presses easily, closer to the 15 rep mark, okay? You're gonna use that bell, so let's just say that happens to be a 24 kilo for you. I recommend the second bell, the, the, the offset size bell to be half the size. If you can do that, half the size. So we're looking at you know 24 and a 12 kilo, or a 32 and a 16, all right? You can use a bell closer in size, but to get that big effect, you wanna feel that instability of those weights. The goal of that asymmetrical press, the goal of the asymmetrical squat, the goal of the clean is to get those bells to receive them in the rack at the same time, not two different times, and to receive them overhead at the same time as well. That is, so we're getting tons of like technical skill work here on top of, you know, working that progression from single bell to double bell, all right? So your primary press bell, followed by a bell that's roughly half the size of the primary press, all right? So let's head on over to the platform and let's get started.
Whew. There they have it. Texas heat is back. I'm freaking drenched. And all I did was record one series for you guys. There you have it. I still got chalk on my hands. One complete circuit, asymmetrical bells, squat first, then press. We're knocking out one set every minute. So on the minute protocol, okay? Zero mark, five squats. Switch sides, one minute mark, five squats. You get the idea. You're gonna continue with that all the way through until you get through your presses. Presses, you're gonna alternate sides as well. Everything is sets of five. Man, I think it was that second set of presses on my left side. It was a grinder. I don't know, I don't know why it was so damn hard, but uh, it was a grinder for me. You saw me grind through that. So once you complete both series, squat, then press, after that, you have a long rest period, top of the minute plus an additional minute, all right? So here's what you need to do next. In the description, there's a link to my blog that details the entire training for today, the entire session, okay? It's gonna have this video as well, okay? Below the video, there'll be a link that you can download the cheat sheet of today's training, how many total circuits you need to be completing, Etc. It's my gift to you. No opt-in required. All right. So that's all I got. Hector with strongestech.com with this week's workout of the week, and I'll see you next week.